All right, uh, I'm Timmy Sprague, or Timothy Sprague. Uh, we're with Pound for Pound. Uh, we do foundations and structural framing. This is our uh, 600 lineal feet of footing up here in Wedgwoods, just north of Whistler. We got uh, 11 different steps. We got three stages here and about 28 corners and tees. We decided to go with the fast foot for many of reasons. First of all, um, the excavation grades were about, if you go from here over to the far side, our excavations are out roughly six to seven inches, which is not uncommon. Um, normally what we would have to do is with two by tens, we'd have to bag it anyway. So you're doing the same amount of work. This uses less wood. Also, it helps with uh, doing the steps. Each section of step was probably around an hour, if that. Um, with plywood forming, I'd say it would be about four to five times that. Four to five hours per step using plywood and threaded rod. And then also, another thing on this job, what happened was, you notice, you notice here, we're using two by six. What actually happened is the lumber yard messed up and they sent us two by six instead of two by four. But you know what? We can still use it because of fast foot. All right, we need a nine to 10 inch footing depth. But then you see, because of our excavations kind of out, especially on a complex one like this with so many stages, so many steps and jogs, um, we're out, you know, we're out about uh, six inches or something over here. That's probably about 14 inches instead of 10 inches. But I didn't have to scribe anything. You just roll the bag out, staple it off, and you're good to go. We got the Stepzilla, we've been calling it over here. Kind of comes up, we got some bedrock here. It would have been really funny to scribe this up and over that. And actually blind hill, blind side forming as they call it. And with the bag, because the bag, the bag acts, acts like it's stronger than form work because it has to pull the whole form down to push the form out. You actually think it's just a bag, but it, structurally, you actually don't have to do that much bracing. We used almost a whole lift of two by six for this. So someone, I don't have the numbers on top of my head, but that would have been over a whole lift of two by 10, which I'm telling you would have been more than double the price just in lumber, let alone labor. Yeah, so this is kind of our first time doing real real big foundation, all out of bags, and uh, and first time doing big steps like this. I'd do it, uh, do it again in a heartbeat. Like uh, you said earlier about time-wise, the probably saved me a few days labor just in the steps.